Scott Brown here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the tools you will need if you are starting your apprenticeship. So basically, the first thing you need is a tool belt and all the things that are in a tool belt, such as a hammer. You don't have to spend $360 on a hammer. It's not really necessary for the first year. A speed square, I'd recommend. Either this or a combination square. But um, this is pretty handy for when you're first starting out and you don't know how to cut, you can put that in. You can put that on something like that and it gives you a straight line to cut to. So if you're just starting out and you're not really good with a skill saw, that could be a handy thing to have. Nail punch, a knife, a folding ruler, and a tape. You'll definitely need a measuring tape. And also, for all the mistakes you make, you'll need a nail puller. It's just a part of building. And also these two, these are very handy for pulling smaller nails out that you can't quite get to. When I started building 14 years ago in 2004, the company I was working with had a little program where they would give you, they would buy for you the, the main tools that you needed. And it was pretty much a nail gun, a skill saw, a level, and the tools in your tool belt. That, that was pretty much it. The battery tools were pretty average at the time. It was an electric skill saw, so you had a lead as well. After about a year, that was when you'd get a, like a drill, an 18 bolt drill. And that was pretty much it for the first year as an apprentice, but now it's a little bit different. If I was gonna have someone work for me and they were you know, in their first year, these are the things I would expect. The framing gun here in New Zealand is very crucial. Decks like this is quite a common job when you first start out, especially in residential. We've got the pass load. We don't have air guns in New Zealand. I know um, over in the States that's still really popular, the pneumatic guns. But um, I think all the hoses and air compressors left the building site before I even started building. So we've just been on gas ever since. See, it's got the gas thingy in there. So if you're thinking about starting building, consider investing in one of these. They're not cheap, but um, might be worth looking at. You might get away with it, depends who you work for. You might get away with not having one. Moving on to the electric stuff. A skill saw. And nowadays, skill saws are good enough to be battery powered. So I'd recommend like a skill saw and a drill combo to get you started. 18 volt batteries and two drills. And a skill saw would probably cost you around about maybe $800, something like that, if you're in New Zealand. The reason you need two drills is because one will give you a pilot hole and the second one will put the screw in for you. So this will drive the screw a lot better and that's pretty much it, eh? I know, I'm pretty sure in some countries, like, they don't even let their apprentices use power tools for like the first year, right? Sure. So they just get good at cutting stuff with the handsaw and sure. doing it the old way. That just, makes sense. Just so they can like, you know, know how to hammer a nail. Right, right, right. Yeah, instead of just yeah. being shooters, you know? Another tool you need if you're just starting out as a builder is a handsaw. Doesn't have to be a funky looking Japanese handsaw like this, but I do recommend these. I never learnt with these, these are quite new, I've only been using them for like three years. But they have like a razor cut and a super thin blade and they work on the pull. The reason you want a saw to work on the pull is because steel is strong in tension but it's weak in compression. So if you ever try to cut something with a regular old western saw and you get a, like a snag or something, it just bends like that. Whereas all the forceful cutting that you're doing with this is on the pull, so the blade is constantly in tension and you don't get that you don't get that bend. And last but not least, the level. So you know that all the work you're doing is either straight or level or plumb. Very crucial. And it's good for marking stuff, it's good for making sure your decking's straight, it's good for making sure your decking screws are good. Decking? <laughs> you gotta get your deck straight. That's important. <laughs> no one likes a crooked deck. <laughs> I almost forgot. You need these. You need a protect and a mask and glasses. You need to protect yourself from day one like we didn't do. And then boots and... I mean, you guys should know this stuff. I shouldn't have to say this. So maybe if you want to know what you should have 
further into your apprenticeship, let me know in the comments and perhaps I'll make another video. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's episode. I'll see you guys next week where we'll continue with this beautiful deck that we're working on. It's looking great. That works out. Yeah, as long as they can like drill holes, cut wood, yeah. measure things. Yeah. That's basically it. I was gonna film it bro, but then I felt like a dick holding the camera, so gave up.